In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO3-2 plus FeCl3. That's lead 2 nitrate plus iron 3 chloride. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. This one's a little more challenging to balance. What I think I'll do is I see that I have two nitrates here, three nitrates here, and then two chlorides, three chlorides. I'm going to double the chlorides here. That'll give me two irons. It'll give me six of the chlorines, so I'll have an even number. So I could put a three here. Now the CLs, they're balanced. I have three lead atoms. Put a three here. Those are balanced. I have three times the two nitrates. So I'll put a two here. Balances the nitrates. We have two irons. This is the balanced equation. So balancing this molecular equation, if you can get this to be an even number, that's kind of helpful. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble, and chlorides, with a few exceptions, are also very soluble. Here we have another nitrate, and we have a chloride. But lead to chloride, that's one of the exceptions. This is one you need to remember. Let's look at our solubility rules for lead to chloride here. So in general, if we have this chloride ion here, the compound will be soluble with a few exceptions like silver, and then here's lead. So this is going to be insoluble. When we put this in water, it won't dissolve. So we're going to call this a solid. These two substances react up here. We end up with this solid. It's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Now that we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that gives us the complete ionic equation. So lead's a transition metal, but we do know that the nitrate, the whole thing, is 1 minus. We have two of them. Lead has to be 2 plus. So we'll have three lead 2 ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus 2 times 3 is 6 of these nitrate ions, 6 nitrate ions. For the iron, we have chloride. We know the chloride ion is 1 minus, and we have three of them, so this iron has to be 3 plus. So we'll have two of these iron three ions, and then two times three, six chloride ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the nitrates, three of them, so each one's one minus. The iron will be three plus two iron three ions, just like the reactants. And then we'll have two times three, six nitrate ions, NO3 minus. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This PBCL2, that's our precipitate, so we're not going to split that apart. Just keep that together. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross the spectator ions out. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So we have our reactants on the top, our products on the bottom. If I look, I see I have six nitrate ions here in the reactants and again in the products. Those are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. I can see I have two iron three ions in the reactants and then again in the products spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for PBNO3-2 plus FeCl3. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the lead 2 nitrate and iron 3 chloride. If you look at the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced as well. 3 times 2 plus, 6 plus, 6 times 1 minus is 6 minus. That adds up to 0. Over here, this is neutral net charge of 0. We probably should reduce these coefficients down, though, because we could reduce it down, which looks a little neater, and we don't write the 1s by convention. So this would probably be a better net ionic equation for this PBNO3-2 plus FeCl3. They're really the same thing. The coefficients just give us a ratio, but this might look a little nicer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.